This segment is brought to you by Crash Plan. Well, let's see, uh, let's see it do some satellite action. Okay. Sure. We'll set up the VGAN and uh, uh, give that a try we'll, here. So this is actually a terminal that Viasat provides. And there are two grades of terminals, 4 megabits or 8 megabits. Uh, 4 megabits consumer grade, so you can up, uplink 4 megabits per second. Okay. And uh, if you go outside, you can actually see the dish there. All right. So it's, it's kind of like reacting the dish, it's really easy to stop. Yeah, it's pretty big. Right, and you can get HD signal, high quality, right away. What kind of throughput do you get from that? Uh, up to 8 megabits. We did test two, these two big end, oh, two terminals like this, uh, VSR terminals, and you can get 16 megabits for reliability if you want. Wow, that's a lot. Right. So as soon as we plug in the uh, the BGAN, is it just going to show up in the interface as a new device and uh, uh, well, just start using it? BGAN is actually a network connection. Let me. Okay. With uh, BGAN, we actually only one company that allows you to control BGAN directly from the unit. So the Inmarsat satellites. Inmarsat satellites. Yes. Usually, what people do is they have to have Mac notebook to connect uh, to the unit and then control the unit or PC notebook. What okay. we incorporated inside the Linux, we added support for BGN ourselves. Oh, so you're saying that you don't just take the IP out of the Ethernet coming out of the uh, terminal, but you're actually devising some sort of a, a modem for it as well? Right. So uh, on uh, BGN, the way BGN operates, it's AT commands. It's like a modem. Yeah, so it's like Hayes, hey, like back in the day. Right. So you have to actually establish a uh, session to the TCP session yeah. to a terminal, send IT it's commands. Like dial up. Right, dial up and you know, say if, am I registered or not? Could you connect this? Yeah. yeah. And and then it appears on interface what the signal strength is. As soon oh, as we because connect. if you don't do it that way, you don't get the signal strength exactly. and all of the right. other right. control data. And also what's critical is that uh, for many companies it's APN based. So you have to enter APN in order to operate. Sure. Access point so, it's, so it's actually very similar to a cellular network in that case. In fact, these BGAN terminals even take SIM cards. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. It's same. Yeah. It's just that they're hitting a bird in the sky it, instead of a tower. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the whole concept. Yes. Yeah. So off the BGAN terminals, some have a wi uh, wireless capabilities. We just plugged in via the Ethernet. You can either come in off a dongle like this to the USB port, or you can uh, you could simply plug this in where we have uh, the other uh, uh, satellite technology coming in here, just uh, through the Ethernet port. What I did, I disconnected all. Okay, so now we're not using any of the modems in yeah, here. We're right. only using the satellite. Satellite, right? And I actually, we could, and we'll connect in a second back to see how it works. Okay, so but right now we have video from this camera right. over the satellite. Right, it's kind of sad. So this is the quality of the video. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, I said a little higher reliability. So about sure, but I mean the frame rate is fine. Right, right. You know, is it standard def? Uh, actually, it's 10, 1080i. 1080i off satellite, wow. Uh, That's really cool. And, yeah, this kind of streaming. And I disconnected all cards, all 3G cards on purpose, so we okay. could use VSAT only. But we could go back. But you're getting 2, three, 3 megabits yeah, per yeah, second. Yeah, it's dynamic, just depending on uh, weather conditions. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I could push higher, but sometimes you want to kind of be less greedy and give less bandwidth so it does not affect picture quality much. So. Okay. But uh, so as soon as we turn on some additional modems, though, does picture quality right. just get better? Right. So what we'll do, this is all the cards we also have. I could get and reconnect them just, you know, for our tests, and it should immediately start route bandwidth to those cards because they're low latency. Oh, I see. One of these cards is 80, 90, 100 kilobits per second. The other one's about 800. Yeah. This one's about two megabit. Right. Right. And these are the different, you know, yeah, see, PPP3, right. PPP2. Yeah. Yeah. So what yes, actually, you... AT&T, Verizon, it will show up eventually. Oh, I see. I'll actually see the and carrier name. He, here it shows latency on Viasat, 700 milliseconds, on AT&T, 90 milliseconds. So it goes that path because it's much oh. lower latency. So whatever, so whatever path mm -hmm. has the least latency, mm -hmm. it's going to take. Right. So this is kind of the same idea of right. this entire box exactly. and this entire camera, except it's in, in your pocket. In, in iPhone. And what is nice about iPhone, it could actually bond two network connections. So you can use... Well, Wi-Fi and the 3G or 4G connection you got. So say MiFi, AT&T, and Verizon on the Oh, phone. I see. Oh, and it'll bond it's them. It will bond them together. So since your iPhone is right. on AT&T, right. since your MiFi is on Verizon, Verizon, you now have two networks. Exactly, it will bond. 
and uh, the quality of the camera is really high. You know. I mean, sufficient. Right. Yeah. Right. I've used. I mean, that's what I use for my video blogs. It's great. Right. And uh, uh, the beauty of it, it's again same low latency, and <clears throat> you can share email, mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter. You can you know share with your friends right away. And what also shows right now, we're sending back to re-encode with H.264. So now you can deliver it to any iOS device as well. Not only, uh, and this video, you can put on air right away on Fox News, on CNN, mm -hmm. because if, if you specify send to CNN, they could see it. And they could put it right in the air from iPhone. Right, so this is, this is basically taking the power of like the Ustream and the, com the consumer grade live mm -hmm. streaming and putting it into the, the broadcast standards. Right. And broadcasters already have accounts to access this service and route it on the air. For um, example, remember Storm Chasers? Uh, yeah. Week ago, one of the iPhones was there, they streaming and on the air right away. Cool. Yeah. So, and same technology available on Android as well. Android phone. So now he pick up directly with our application, iPhone to iPhone. So now on your phone, you can get the same video. Right. So this is a video that he's sending over the cloud and back. That's cool. So what we have, uh, there is cloud servers uh, in different countries, in US, in Australia, in Japan, in Singapore, in Europe. So he's got a local connection. So yeah. So wherever you are, we stream it to close by server and then you can route it anywhere you want. In this case, he route to his iPhone. I could also could route to web streaming service. If it's here too. Right. Or you can get embedded code, embed in your web page and broadcast same signal from iPhone if you want to see. That's cool. So, so Heidi is the immediate sharing mm -hmm. video. Right. And now it's on uh, Amazon network, available in multiple countries, so reliability and quality of service around the globe right now. Does, so this rig right here takes advantage of the, the mobile application? Right, so the same mobile application you use here. And the advantage is that you have high quality lenses connected. So what do you mean high quality lenses? Like so, what, what is this guy? Right, you, you can add additional lenses, uh -huh. or whatever you want, comparing to what's built in inside the camera. So it oh. could be fisheye or, you know. Telephone. Yeah, telephone. And did they say you can add Canon as well, right? Right. Nowadays? Yeah, you can add Canon lenses. You, you can add DSL, DSL lenses, DSLR lenses. Wow, really? Yeah. Fantastic. DSLR lenses on a phone? Oh. And like this, I don't know. Yeah. You could add light. And it's, uh, it's much heavier on purpose, so it's actually more steady when you move. That's cool. And here, you can add tripod. Sure. So the entire rig, though, is the phone. Like from, Correct. From capture to delivery, right. all in one device. Right, right. That's cool. And we also provide a service called IFB. You can connect headphone back, and you can talk with the studio. Oh, wow. Without cell connection. So it's just only o over our internal network. That's cool. So so as a camera person, you already, you, you, right. get, you know, the... Yeah, it's called IFB. Yeah, yeah, IFB. Yeah. Yeah. Familiar with that in the studio, just not <laughs> in right, such right. a package. So, <laughs> so all, all our units, this unit has IFB, iPhones has IFB, Android has IFB, so you could talk back with any of the units. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Your backup should be private, like really private. None of those bogus, we store your private key in the cloud or none of that nonsense recently with like, oh, hey, we just put in a back door for all the unencrypted stuff for the fun guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, no thank you. What I'm talking about, you know, and we've been talking about on Hack5 for a while now is, you know, securing your stuff before it hits the cloud. I'm personally a huge fan and a customer of our newest sponsor, Crash Plan, and I love it because they get it. You see, they've got a free client for Windows, Mac, Linux, even Solaris and get this, you can bring your very own Blowfish key, you know, the open source cipher from Bruce Schneier. So you, none of your stuff ever touches the network without first being encrypted. And not only can you use the free client uh, to back up to your own external hard drive for free, but uh, their you know, offsite storage stuff is truly unlimited. I know, because I have like terabytes up there. And so as hackers and as geeks, as, as IT professionals, we know the importance of offsite backups. And as a Hack5 viewer, get this, we are getting a huge hookup, a very special hookup from now until July 31st, 2013. So get this, this is huge, a one year unlimited plan normally starts at $59.99 a year, but get this, 
the special page over at crashplan.com slash hack it up, you're gonna get 20% off. That's like unlimited backups for a year for less than four bucks a month, it's huge. Uh, so it's never too soon to back it up. So I highly encourage you guys to take advantage of this July only offer. Head over to crashplan.com slash hack it up. This week's Technoless photo of the week is from Neo, who sends us a couple of photos of his setup. He hooked up a whole bunch of monitors via display link converters to an old XPS 15 laptop, and they worked! So you can send over your photos to feedback at hack5.org, feedback at hack5.org, with the subject line, Technolust.